Hey everybody, welcome back to the Anchor of the Week, where we have hard conversations, we hear people's stories, and we challenge perspectives. My name is Zach. And I'm Courtney. And we are the Anchor of the Week. Yes, we are so pumped to yes. be here. The final week of our current series about the human longing. Yes, and we are in a cool part of London. Yes, we are back home in London after being in Birmingham and Weymouth, and now it's time to hear what the people of our city have to say. Yes. Here in Shoreditch on Brick Lane. Yeah. We're excited to be Super here. Super cool area. Yeah. A little bit cheeky area. So we are hoping for some decent answers. Um, but we'll see. Yeah. See if London has depth. That's the big This is the, the big thing. Cue, yeah. If you guys have not listened to the past episodes, make sure you go back and do that. Um, because, yeah, we're essentially going around different places in the UK asking the question, like, what are you searching for? What is that one thing that you want but you don't feel like you've reached yet? And yeah. we've been very surprised by the answers. Yes, we have. Yeah. Very different. They definitely are different than our intro episode where we discussed what we were thinking about yeah, this. Yeah. Um, but that's great because that's what we're here for, to that challenge is, perspectives and to hear people's stories. So. Hear people's stories, yeah. So let's check it out. So I am here with Zuzi and Rehan. Thank you guys so much for uh, yeah, letting us talk with you. Um, so the question is, like, what is that one thing that you are like going after, that you are kind of chasing after, but you feel like you haven't quite reached yet? Um... <laughs> For me, I really want to be in the magazine industry, like an editor, journalism, that kind of Wow. Yeah. Dream. I am co-editor of an art magazine. <laughs> nice to meet hello, you. Hello. <laughs> we'll nice talk after you. filming. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. So, yeah, I really oh. want to be in that industry and wow. chase after that, basically. Yeah. <laughs> what is it about the industry uh, for you? Um, for, like, magazine... It's because it's fashion. Mm -hmm. Basically, I want to be in the fashion industry, kind of, yeah. with the magazine and like the editor writing. Yeah. I want to be, I don't really know, actually, but I kind of <laughs> want to be in the magazine, basically. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I mean, from experience, it's yeah. a great industry. Yeah. 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 I, <laughs> I understand. I think it's fun. Hopefully, it's fun. Yeah. And like fun to work with everyone. Yeah. But we'll see. I don't know it yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. it yet. Yeah. Figuring that out. Yeah. I also want to be in like fashion. I'm more Amazing. on the like photography, styling side of it. Right, I right. can't write at all, <laughs> <laughs> so not an editor. No, but like fashion, creativity, but in the sense of like changing things because mm. I don't necessarily like the fashion industry. Can you tell me what you don't like about it? It's just very like closed off to people, especially yeah. like working class people, and yeah. that really bothers me yeah. because I feel like coming from like a working class background it's hard to get into the industry if you don't have money because yeah. you're like yeah. exhausting yourself working trying to get in it and i want to make it easier for people mm -hmm. but i'm not there yet so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i'm still trying to get into that that is really interesting so both of you it's kind of like career wise in yeah. a sense um do you think that's like because your age are you like uni students yeah. is that yeah. okay yeah. so that is kind of the thing that you're thinking of yeah. or do you just really like as people, would you call yourself like goal oriented? Like, is that, are you more career over, for example, like personal life or having a family or like those kind of things? I think I'm more like personal life. I'm not necessarily like career focused in the sense of like, I'm trying to do things all the time. I want to mm. focus on myself, my friends, and that's how I create. Right. Because if I'm focused on working too much, I, the work doesn't come out very great basically right. yeah. yeah but if i take like real life experiences and put that into my work in my spare time yeah, i feel like it's better yeah and, like everyone around you <laughs> sorry <laughs> <laughs> like create something with friends but also something that you want to do later on yeah yeah but like personal life first uh, and yeah. then career yeah so almost as like so the things that you're creating or even like your job but coming from a place of community yeah, yeah. which is amazing exactly and yeah. i think that's also something that yeah. like can change for example the fashion industry right exactly. like these industries even the magazine uh, yeah. from experience like it's so individualistic yeah. where it's kind of everyone's just trying to make a name for themselves yeah exactly um, how do you view that even in and of itself i'm more I support a lot of like small magazines, like yeah. individual ones. I don't necessarily buy into like Vogue or things like that. Mm -hmm. To some extent, obviously I do because that is the fashion industry. Yeah. But I just love to see people's personalities, learn more about people, about their yeah. community. Yeah. For me, it's more like that than yeah. like stand in front of a camera and look pretty. Yeah. So yeah. Exactly. yeah. yeah. <laughs> so then I guess as well, like when it comes to if we're like talking about the longing right i think we got a little sidetrack which i'm super excited about i can't wait to chat after this um but in terms of the human longing like would you 
like add then like community and and relationships like into that like is that maybe then so yeah we have these career goals and desires but really what we're going after is doing it with other people definitely yeah. i think that's yeah. why we're also friends because <laughs> we focus on things like that yeah. more and we yeah. want to like, collaborate and do things like that yeah definitely yeah because well, it's more like real life basically yeah your personal yeah. life into magazine like yeah. showing like that yeah and being honest and authentic i guess as yeah. well yeah, right exactly. so authenticity would you also say is that something that you go after <laughs> yeah no 100%. Yeah. that's awesome cool any other final thoughts on on the human longing or thing <laughs> i think we covered a lot of it but um <laughs> just be yourself exactly there's yeah. no point of trying to fit into a box no that none of us basically can fit into so yeah exactly who created the box? That's my question. Exactly. Where did the box come Where from? Where did it come from? I know. Awesome. Well, thank you, ladies, so much. Thank this is awesome. You. Thank you. Cool. Okay, Tony. Thank you so much for coming on, mate. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Good. Jack. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, so, we are asking people what they're chasing in life, kind of that deep longing almost. And it's one of the ways we've kind of explained that, that feeling is like when you're lying in bed at night and you're thinking about tomorrow and the next week, what are you running towards? What are you thinking about almost? Big question. Uh, yep, very good question, especially in these times. Um, I think I'm probably running towards making my life more simple. Okay, right. Really good answer, yeah. Which sounds a bit odd when I'm in London, having travelled here from Australia. <laughs> uh, so that doesn't quite fit, so maybe I need to keep running fast. <laughs> sure. what, what, what makes you want to keep life simpler then? What is it? I've got too many things. I've got too many objects. I own too much stuff I run myself ragged doing things and I, I just I'm old now I need time to just right. be relaxed do you think is it do you think it's age that makes you want to now keep things simpler or do you think it's actually like maybe an a wrong kind of idea of like what life's about I think it's time okay because I think when you're working you're running so hard that you don't have time to sit back and go what what was all that about why yeah. was I doing that right right that's so interesting, yeah. Because these are the things like we've asked ourselves as well. Yep. And I'm 25 now, just turned. You're a kid. Uh, I am a kid, yeah. <laughs> I'm very young, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, big life ahead of me. But, um, but I'm thinking about these things because I feel like, I think in the busyness, you don't have that time to sit back and reflect, right? And I think when you do sit back and reflect, then you can actually see what's in front of you more. Um, I think so. Yeah. So do you think then the solution is everyone needs to sit back more? Or do you think it's okay to be running around and chasing that busy life? I don't think it's okay to be exploited and I think that's what an awful lot of that running around is about because you are trying to keep up with something, whatever it is, with right. something, with house prices, you know, right. with getting that other job, getting that more whatever. I, yeah. I think that's what it's about. I reckon when I retired, it took me two years to calm down, at least. Right. You know, that, that feeling that you were talking about of laying in bed and thinking, so what's next? It top, stopped me. It took me two years to stop thinking. What have I got to do? What have I got to do? What have I got to do? And just go, okay, yeah. what's next? Do you think you miss out on certain things then? No, not at all. Right. I think I've got more because of that busyness. No, or? no. I think you miss out because of the busyness. I think I've got more now. Yeah, than that's I'm what. I, yeah, that's what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, right. So I get in my very small van and go for weekends at the beach by myself with a book. Amazing. love it yeah. wow right so much simpler absolutely yeah so what do you think then because ah, this is so this is so good tony i love it mate yeah this, these are great answers um so what what is it then H how do we shy away from that because do you think it's the business itself or because you were saying like we're running around after like house prices and all these things do you think because we're running after things that are on reflection arguably not actually worth running around for right or do you think it's a case of like it's the running around itself or it's the things we're running for? What do you think? I think you do the running to get the things that you're after. That's that's why you're running. You're running towards something. But I mean, I really feel sorry for young people. And the prices of houses and the, the labor market and, the, and all those sort of things, they're so tilted against young people nowadays. Yeah. It's awful. Yeah. I mean, when I bought my house, I can tell you, it didn't cost 10 times my salary. It cost two or three times maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, I think the fact that I have the possessions that I have allows me to 
divest, think about divesting myself of those things. If you haven't got them, it's like refugees. If you ain't got, you got to go. You got to yeah. go somewhere to get what you can for your kids and yourself and your. Yeah. 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 That's it. Yeah. So good. Totally. Okay. Thank you so much, mate. Really appreciate your time. Thank you. Pleasure. All right, so I'm here with Ellen. Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Okay, so first of all, you're from Sweden. You just landed in London yesterday, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah. Um, but we are, as I said, we're asking people, what is that thing that you're longing for that you mm -hmm. haven't quite reached yet? Yeah. Um, is there something when I say that that like yes. comes to your mind? Oh, yeah, yeah. she's got I it. She's I got it. I want to live on a beach. You want to live on a beach? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm actually, uh, I need to live on a beach, at least uh, during the winter, because yeah. it's unbearable where I live in Sweden. I can only imagine. So I just want to flee all the time. Flee but since time. Uh, fleeing isn't an option if you're an adult, I need to find a way to live permanently. <laughs> wow, you just said so many things that we could unpack there. Um, yeah. But so, like, I love, can we just go to fleeing is not an option mm -hmm. when you're an adult, right? Yeah. What is it about that? No, I try every winter, but <laughs> it only lasts for so and so many months. So I need yeah. to find a way to to make to it. live my complete bohemian lifestyle. <laughs> That's amazing. But that is an interesting point, because sometimes when we, like, long for something, yeah. or we'll maybe get, like, a little taste of it, mm -hmm. but it's not something that we can, like, sustain, no. I guess, or it becomes a... That's true. Right? So you, you have these, I guess, you can go away yeah. for, like, a little bit at a time. Yeah. But this is now the thing that you are working towards for yes. permanent. Yes. Yeah. It is. It is a very, a very conscious yeah. choice to yeah. move in towards that direction yeah I'm I've built a company for the last 15 years wow so my dream is actually to sell it and be able to do whatever I want before I turn 50 wow yeah. so was at one point your company would you say that was your big longing no it wasn't no my big longing has always been to be as free as possible wow so but <laughs> now I don't have uh, enough ta cash to quit yet yeah. <laughs> I understand that. So yeah, I, yeah. I need to keep going, but I also really love what I do. Yeah. I'm a jewelry designer. Yay. Oh, hello. A, what a jewelry designer. Yeah. That makes sense because your jewelry is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but and it's going well. Yeah. But it needs to go even better. So I'm yeah. starting to, to, trying to turn up the speed even more the right. coming years. Right. And then find someone who wants to continue this work. That's wow. So you're very goal driven, which yeah. is amazing. Yeah. But what is it specifically about like freedom for you that you're like, yeah, that is like the I lifestyle. I just want to wake always. up in the morning and call whatever friend I want and do whatever I want. Yeah. Okay. And Fair enough. Uh, probably then I will discover that most of them are at work, and then I will come up with my next idea. <laughs> so so probably I new. will just uh, think that okay, now I sold my company uh, that I really loved. What am I going to do now? And then I'm going to be sad for a year, maybe. And then I'm going to find a new purpose. And I think it's impossible to find a new purpose if you haven't like left the old things behind. Right. So, so I, I the only thing moving. I knew I know is that I have to leave right. to, to live another life. Is that scary? Do you think? No. To leave the I'm I think so a lot of excited. Find it scary, I'm so wow. excited. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> well, where is your ideal destination? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> where are we going to find you on the beach in a few years? I'm um, definitely in Asia. Really? During the winter. Yeah, I love Bangkok. But, um, wow. yeah, we'll see. We will see. No one, no one knows. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll find you yeah. when we're traveling around somewhere else. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want to also plug your jewelry brand? Tell us where we can find it or buy it. Yeah, Maybe sure. that'll help us yeah, sure. speed the process the name for you. Is, uh, <laughs> the name is Sagan. It means an old story in Sweden. Oh, uh, you, I think you have the word saga. Yeah. So yeah. It's the brand name is related to that. Oh, it's beautiful. Because they all have their own story. That's amazing. And if you go into sagansweden.com, you can find me there. There we go. You know where to find her. Thank you so thank much, you. Ellen. <laughs> okay, Robin, thank you so much for joining us. We're here Robin? at the park and we're on this this thing. I'm not sure what this thing is, but it spins a bit like this. <laughs> yeah, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, um, we're asking people what their deep longing are. Mm -hmm. uh, what what that deep longing is and just kind of what they're chasing in life. Okay. Um, so what is that for you? So um, I would like to be a digital nomad. Like that would be my long term. A project. digital nomad. Yeah. Brilliant. For those of us who don't know oh, exactly yeah, what that of is. Course. So basically it means I could, I, I had the chance, I would have the chance to travel and just work from cool. wherever I am. Okay, cool. Because I'm an illustrator, so it's not that I need much. Right, okay. You know, so I could literally do it from everywhere. Right. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm... So, so how, how come you want to be a digital nomad? Why? Uh, 
I the always, reason for that? I always like to travel. I always did it ever since I was a kid. Like my parents have always been traveling everywhere, and uh, I just don't like to stay in the same place for a long time. Okay, right. So um, I don't know. I just love learning cultures and uh, discovering new things. Okay. Do you feel like sometimes when people chase freedom, they feel like they're trapped in in something as such, or they feel like they're a little bit restricted and limited? in mm. where they are right now do you feel like that or is it more just you want to see I think what's yes in the world? I mean at the end of the day because of the economy and so on we, yeah. we are all a bit trapped and most of the time to follow your dreams you need some money I mean I definitely need money to buy plane tickets right? yeah yeah. so yeah I do feel a bit trapped okay. but hopefully I mean maybe in a few years I hope to manage to move out of here right okay yeah is there a reason like is there stuff that you is it literally just a case of you just want to see the world and that's why you're going? Or is there th- certain things here that you feel like you can't achieve almost? Uh, or like being in this setting, it stops you from getting to where you want to get to almost? I think it's like a matter of like, for example, if you're a creative person, if you're too long in the same background, like your creativity starts to suffer from it. Right. Well, traveling really expands my imagination okay. um, and my mind so that's kind of the reason why right that is so that's such a cool answer oh, um, <laughs> yeah because it, it just makes me i feel like these are things that I, we're noticing in like mm. generations to generations it's um like what is important to us to you and me and what's important to our, f- our parents and then what's going to be important to our kids and mm. one of the things that we've looked at is um like stability and yeah. almost like the idea of like staying consistent in something for a long yeah. time i feel like we lack that right um, or almost yeah because like you're saying if you're in one place it limits your creativity yeah. right so you don't stay in one place for too long do you think that's good or do you think that's bad or i mean it, i think it's a thing that is very personal to every person like right. uh, there are a lot of people that really try to achieve stability I did achieve stability, but I realized it's just not for me. It's okay. I think it's just the way your brain is, how you grew up. Right. So if you feel comfortable in having stability, that's absolutely great for you. Yeah, right. But it just doesn't work for me. Right. And what was that place for you? Well, how would you explain stability for you? Like you said, you've reached oh, stability. I was having a full-time job, okay. working 95 in this place. They were paying me okay i was having my you know my days off my uh, amount of days off right but was that what i wanted not really right okay but when when it's not what you wanted it means you couldn't get to something that you wanted yeah right? it was stopping me you know like a lot of times i was getting gigs for doing like proper things i like like illustrations and stuff like in the middle of the week and right. i couldn't go because i had my work okay i see yeah so right. that's kind of right know. wow yeah. that is so cool yeah, yeah honestly right? yeah seriously i uh, <laughs> love that um, where are you traveling to? Where's next on Me, the list? Then? I want to go. Uh, now I'm studying uni. So okay. for two years, I'm trapped here. <laughs> <But> trapped. <laughs> I, lo- I love it. We're using words like that. Yeah, I, yeah. It's not cool. even trapped. No, it's I, fun. I, it's yeah, a nice yeah, prison yeah, anyway. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. golden bar prison. But yeah, I want to go to Spain. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Nice. Sounds good. So yeah, more like Mediterranean Okay. Area. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Brilliant. Robin, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Well, awesome. Those are some actually oh, very great interviews. Yeah. I yeah. don't want to be biased, but London, you pulled through. <laughs> you did pull through, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I, I, it's so interesting. I feel yeah. like in, in uh, different parts of uh, the UK, let's call it, um, we didn't get as deep, I guess, maybe. Yeah. Or I don't know if that's the best way to describe it. But but I um, feel... Oh, okay, here's the thing. Because a lot of our like the answers that we were getting, or the conversations that we had were very similar. But I think it's because we have the big city vibe and people come from all over to go to the big city because they're after something. Yes, yeah. Right? Because how many of the people that we met today are actually from London? Yeah. No. Maybe, maybe... Maybe one. Actually one. Yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah, one. 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 Per- one. <laughs> yeah, one person. Uh, it took so long to there figure was, that there out. There was a Turk, there was a Swede, there was an Aus- Aussie, and then just there was uh, uh, Italian. Italian, yeah. Yeah. And then there was a one from North London, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Right? So it's this, I think it's already kind of in the London mentality of like, if you are here, it's because wherever you were wasn't cutting it for some reason yeah. because you were after something more. Um, so they're coming from one place into another almost. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But I honestly, and a lot of the, the conversations, right, were about like work or, you know, or like the younger ones, like trying to find work or, you yeah. know, we yeah. had... Um, Ellen and Tony, right, who are about like both the beach as well. Yeah. 
<laughs> like leaving, you know what I mean? But yeah. it's all was kind of like around like the busyness, the hustle, work, yeah. that kind of culture, which yeah. I think is very specific to yeah. London. Yeah. With Robin, she was talking about um, how like uh, it was like if you stay in one place for too long, it like limits your creativity or something along those lines. Yeah. And that is so interesting to me. I, I wonder if that's actually why it limits your creativity or it's like more of, it's more of how we are in those moments of yeah. more stable situations. Because I, I don't think stability is, is the issue. I don't think consistency maybe is the issue or as such. You I know? think it's comfortability. Yeah. Maybe that's a better way to put it, yeah. But it is so interesting because yeah. she relates that, not having a dig at all, but like she related that to being consistent in something Yeah. where... And then that limits you. That doesn't sound right to me because I feel like consistency is something we lack and we need more of. But how do we stay expressive even in the moments of like... St- of being consistent. Of, yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Don't know. I don't I, think I have an answer for no, that No, no, neither but. do I. It's <laughs> just like, I think she's right to a certain degree, but I think there's also... Yeah. Like, how do we carry ourselves in those consistent moments so to speak yeah yeah Yeah. because i think that plays a role you know are we are we going out our way to be inspired so to speak you know she was saying that when you go and see different countries or go and see more then you your eyes are open you know how are we opening our eyes in the moments where we're yeah stable and consistent well i guess is that one thing that we're chasing or what a lot of people are chasing here is are we chasing inspiration yeah right but what is that is that like a moment or is that you know what i mean yeah yeah because we are in a wonderful creative city, right? That is super inspiring. Yeah. But yeah. And then you have Ellen that was chasing freedom, you know, but what does that look like? But I also, I love her like kind of juxtaposition because at one sense she was like, yeah, I want to be like free from like all of this. And she again had this wonderful business and all of that. But at the same time, she also knew that once she found freedom in something or her freedom, that like uh, it would like be something more, yeah. be something next. Yeah. And um, Tony was kind of similar in some ways slightly different but it was more like yeah i don't know i guess he he was saying like time has helped him like be a little bit more kind of on the lines of like he can look back and actually see um like what's actually valuable you know and time's given him the chance to like sit back and actually reflect on things a little bit more on the busyness um and we don't have that right like we're not not to say he's super old but we're not at his age so yeah. we're still in this this place of like chasing and running around still trying to figure it out yeah what's the purpose what's the point right yeah i feel like you have to value conversations with the older generation that's cool it just because yeah they've lived it they've they've been there and done that yeah and sometimes For we more disregard information that. on that you can go back to our series on the generation <laughs> and the legacy yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was plugged to a past epi. Yeah. Past epi. But it's true, right? And having these conversations. But yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I think this was a great way to end the series. This was a good way, yes. Yeah. In our beloved city. Our hometown. Not yeah. our hometown. No. Our new hometown. Home, home city. Yeah. <gasps> yes. Brilliant. Awesome. Well, thank you guys for joining us. We'll have a fresh episode, a fresh topic coming at you next week. But until then, where can they find us? <laughs> we are on YouTube. We are on uh, Spotify, all other podcast platforms and TikTok and Instagram. There we go. He did not miss yeah, a beat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guys. Thank you again for joining us yeah. and for tuning in. We are the Anchor of the Week. And remember to attack topics and not people. See you soon.